There's a new twist in the Haditha story. The Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, wants to discharge two Marines, Sergeant Umberto Mendoza and Sergeant Sanic de la Cruz, because they lied to investigators before the military trial. Quick refresher here. Haditha was the most serious war crimes trial to come out of the Iraq war. Eight Marines went on trial for the killing of 24 unarmed Iraqi civilians. Seven of those Marines were exonerated or acquitted, and Sergeant Frank Woodrich ended up pleading guilty to one count of negligent dereliction of duty. Neil Puckett is the attorney who defended Woodrich. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So I think the public feels that perhaps justice wasn't done after uh, the Haditha case. And I wondered whether you think that this latest move by Ray Mabus is another indication that the military court didn't really deliver justice. I'm not sure how close a connection there is between justice for the victims at Haditha and this latest action uh, can, can be seen. Uh, I think it's probably more of a, of a, a visceral or emotional uh, or just sort of justice reaction by the Secretary of the Navy to perhaps have been briefed as an after action report about the Haditha cases and to have discovered that the prosecutors relied on false testimony to build their cases. And then secondarily to that, seeing that the false testimony came from uh, in Marines who were later promoted to the non-commissioned officer status. Integrity is a very uh, uh, primary uh, virtue uh, in the Marine Corps, and uh, they don't take lying uh, very lightly. Well, now, there was dispute over the details of what happened that day, uh, several different details. One of the lies that Dela Cruz told the investigators was that the six men by the white pickup were actually running away when they were shot. Then on the stand, he said they were not. Do you believe there were more lies told by witnesses that haven't yet been admitted? Uh, well, we, we know for a fact there are, uh, uh, in fact, at least half the witnesses who testified uh, we know lied. Uh, because we've conducted our own uh, more thorough investigation than, than that of NCIS. Uh, but the thing that's perhaps most disturbing is that uh, these two individuals, these two sergeants, uh, not only lied at the, at the court martial, but they had also lied in 2007 at the Article 32 investigation. That was, and, and both admitted lying. Uh, and then to find out that back in 2006, uh, the N Naval Criminal Investigative Service agents told the prosecutors that these individuals, particularly Sergeant Delacruz, uh, was lying to them about his version of events, yet they chose to proceed with the false or perjured testimony anyway. And that raises ethical concerns for we as attorneys. Well, right. It looked like the prosecution had adopted a strategy to, to pin all the blame on, on your client, on Wooteridge. And I was on Camp Pendleton when those final hearings were. And he came across as a fairly responsible and thoughtful individual um, who was doing what he thought was best at the time. So do you think the, the strategy they adopted was to get as many people off the hook as possible? Well, no, I think it was just the opposite. I think uh, the strategy was to try to portray what happened as the actions or directed actions of a single rogue individual who they decided was, was going to be uh, Sergeant Woodridge. And they tried then to shape all the evidence back to uh, a theory that Sergeant Woodridge had reacted emotionally and had gone berserk and had uh, commanded his troops to go berserk as well. And in so doing, uh, in that way, could distance uh, the Marine Corps from, from any responsibility as an organization or any institutional responsibility for failures in leadership or failures in training and supervision or, or tactics that were being uh, tr uh, trained to at the time. And certainly, uh, as it goes to rules of engagement, which were enforced at the time. So just quickly, if these two other Marines are discharged from the Marine Corps, how can the, the general public feel satisfied that, that justice was done when they escaped any court sentence? Well, I don't think they can feel that justice was done because uh, they, they had their charges. Either, either charges weren't preferred against them in the case of uh, Sergeant Mendoza, or they had their charges dismissed with prejudice, meaning they could never be refiled in the case of Sergeant Delacruz. I think had all Marines who fired their weapons that day been charged, and held to account for their own actions individually, perhaps, and just perhaps, justice might have been found in some way, shape, or form through the investigation of the Haditha incident. Okay, Neil Puckett, thank you very much for being with us. Great to be with you. That was Neil Puckett, the attorney for Frank Wooteridge.